Well, hello, hello. This is Victor, a.k.a. Mozart II. We are playing Fortnite uh, Chapter 4, Season 2. Uh, this is the first season that I'm in, or at least I've played. I have not played any anything prior. Uh, so, I just, I, what I want to know is, well, what I'm going to try to do right now is I'm trying to get another level. Um, I'm trying to get those particular quests and get those battle stars. So we can see in our particular season right now, the only thing that we have left is our score trick points on a bike. Um, and then we have these two here, which is deal melee damage to opponents in a single match, and then reach 25 uh, remaining players in a match. Um, there's some times where I get top 10, sometimes I get 50, Ugh. You know, I'm not a pro. Uh, but our milestones as well. It looks like we are we're about to get that 6,000 uh, X point uh, experience points for uh, gaining shields. You know when I first started playing this game I will say it. I was not an expert at Gaining shields at all. I was going in there whittling nilly and then all of a sudden I died Go figure right Wow I'm wondering if they made a change to something on the map. Because you saw that on the uh, right hand corner there was where it said matchmaking, it was updating. So I recently started playing this, this game. I, well, I, I should back up a little bit. So. I know that the, this particular game is on consoles. I did not know that this game was playable on Android phones. Uh, <laughs> and I, I, I say that particularly dangerous because I can, I, if I'm on, a, like say for instance, a bus or anything, I can take that particular game with me and start playing online. Not necessarily one of those things where if, if the communication goes down, you know, you get kicked out of the match. Uh, but if, let's say, for instance, I was traveling for work, I wouldn't need to bring a whole system with me. I can just bring, you know, I have my phone, maybe a controller, uh, and uh, I've, I've been playing with a Bluetooth controller, but I think for my sake and everything, if I'm going to be playing a game like this, I, I wouldn't want the battery to, like, die on me. So what I've been thinking, uh, and I'll probably do an unboxing of some sort, um, I've got a wired controller through Best Buy. I'm just waiting for them to tell me, hey, come pick it up. Um, but with that being said, it is going to be connecting to my phone through the USB-C port. And then um, it says it doesn't need any power, but it does have a pass through. And I'm not quite sure how that works or if it has to be a certain wattage to pass through and charge my phone. I've seen some reviews on that particular remote that I'm getting. I think it's called a riot remote or something. I'll have to uh, do a separate video on that once I get it. Uh, at least uh, put out there that, hey, I got it, you know. And uh, I didn't know this either, but apparently I can also twitch from my phone. All this is dangerous for me because that means I can put out more content and more content that you'll be able to enjoy. Now, it really just depends on how much time I really do have because, you know, the videos themselves, uh, if I have to do any editing, I have to take it to a computer, uh, but you're like, wait, 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 Mozart, wait, Victor, there's no, there, no, no, you can edit your videos on your phone. Of course I can. Uh, apparently I just, I found out that I could also turn my phone into something called a, because it's a Samsung phone. Uh, dex phone uh, dex mode and in dex mode I can turn in I can turn my basic oh my god all my all my lucky guns um, I could turn my phone into a mini laptop of some sort or a computer and I think that's freaking awesome because if I wanted to edit with a uh, keyboard and a mouse I can do that uh, with the current uh, hardware that I have this way behind me. So I'm gonna 
see if I can grab them. But, um, I think that's pretty cool. If I could do everything from my phone, um, there's gonna be a, a, a chance that I may end up having to travel for my work. And when I do that, I am not gonna be able to, well, I probably could bring a whole laptop and everything. Uh, but I don't have a, a powerful laptop right now. All I have is a PC, uh, that's doing most of my, uh, work for me right now. And the video editing software that I have, you know, uh, granted, I would have to, I think I have to pay a, a subscription of some sort, uh, for getting, like, pro video editing software of some sort. Um, I'll have to look to see if they have one that's kind of free. Uh, that'll be in the works if that does happen. If it does, I might not show a camera, uh, on my footage when I'm doing a mobile. It'll be decent, I would hope. <laughs> I'll have to test it out and see how it works. I do have decent amount of uh, space on my phone, so I don't have to worry about that aspect. I need to hurry up and get shields, don't I? And I just dropped one of those power weapons. I think, yeah, it's a shield mushroom, right? Let's do that. That wasn't much, right? Mm -mm. Okay, there was somebody shooting in this general area, I know that. Sometimes they have a, a ability to get that high ground and then they get end up shooting at me. Uh, but yeah, there was one match where this particular person was like hiding in the, the bushes like this. And I slid in and they had a shotgun and that was pretty much game over for me. Which kind of sucked. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, somebody's been here. Let's see how long I can get away with not having to have shields. It looks like somebody has been through here too, but we'll go through just to make sure we don't have any... any shield potions that I can pick up. Because right now... we are... literally... points away... from making a... Um, so I'm gonna trade that for that. We're points away from actually getting the achievement for the um, the shields. I really need to get that. Uh, here, I'll, I'll put that over here, and then uh, I'll make sure to get the lock on pistol, get the gold bars. All right. So it looks like we have met. Stage 20 of 20 of shields. So that means I've applied shields enough to uh, make that milestone for the season. All right. Now we're ready to go. And I could have sworn I hurt somebody. It could have been the shields. hear it sometimes people like to I, I think you get more xp if you get in this area where um it's in between the the storm this general area that i'm in right now if you can take a look at the map at the top right hand corner you can see that there's a specific area of where the storm is going to hit in the next minute and 10 seconds and then um as it shrinks uh, you get additional xp of being in this range which i didn't know I've always ran into, um, ran towards the circle, uh, the inner circle, which is this inner circle here. And, uh, apparently you get additional XP staying in this particular range, um, just because people are out there. You don't necessarily have to be there. If, if your main concern is getting to the top 25, then I would run away from that area. Again, not an expert, but... Uh, if you want to improve your numbers, then you would run towards the you know, the gunfire and and try to see if you can get anybody out uh, Before they kill each other and it looks like we have somebody right here I don't know what they're the hell they're doing 
Looks like somebody was shooting at them. They're probably gonna shoot at me in a little bit. There we go. I don't know if you just saw what I did. I actually have a lock on pistol. Gives me the ability to uh, lock on to them. Now I need shields. <laughs> it does suck though, because I think I think I have to take a moment to just like sit there for a minute for it to lock on. I think those are just health. Okay. Well, I can... I don't hear anybody, so I'm gonna take a little bit of time here. I was hoping a little bit for more than just one. Are you serious? Oh, because I couldn't replace that thing that I had. Okay, sniper surplus. Alright, we got another... Oh, God! This is what I'm talking about. Staying in inside that circle. Sometimes you gotta run. And now we're inside the circle, but the um, the storm will slowly increase. And it looks like we have a minute and 30 seconds to get to the next area. Which I'm pretty sure we can get there. Um, as long as we keep up with everything. I'm gonna run towards this house here. Hopefully there's a chest in there that can give me some shields. Yeah, more shields we have, the more will outlast somebody else that's shooting at us, depending on how they shoot at us, of course. If they probably shoot at us like a headshot or something, then I'm SOL. And it looks like, no, there isn't anything here, but we'll take the bullets. Oh, I'll take that back. There is something here. We can... Up it at least that much. I might actually end up taking that... That gun here. Yeah, I think I might end up getting that machine gun. Replace this shotgun. I'm pretty sure I can one hit somebody. Um, but if I can hit somebody a little bit quicker, we should be able to get that 25. Um, outlast 25 people, I guess. As long as nobody tries to kill us. I don't. I don't see any gunshots, and I know. The last time I was talking about uh, enabling these, this, it's like an, ex, uh, I guess a, a, a accessibility option of some sort where you can see uh, where the shots are coming from or if there's footsteps nearby. Remember, I'm not playing with a headset. I know if I were to play with a headset, I'd be like totally alert and know where this particular person is at or if they're walking around me. Um, I'll be able to differentiate the the direction of that person. Sometimes you get a lot of people coming after you, and what the heck? What did they do to that church? Or tower? It is really weird, though, because usually I hear a lot of gunfire. Hmm. Ah. See somebody. Hold on. Hold on. I also hear somebody on the left hand side. There we go. Come on. Nope. You're not gonna get me, bro. Got you. Got you. I need your gold bars, though. Thank you. 
Bye. All right. We got the guy in the truck. He is bouncing around. Oh, no, that's a butterfly. <laughs> uh, but there's a guy in the truck for sure. At least that there was a guy in the truck. Mm. All right. See, we got that. We got that XP now. I'm gonna go around here just to make sure. This fool is not going to surprise shot me. But it was weird because you saw that person who was driving in the truck just earlier. And I know they're around here somewhere. Now watch, I'm going to get up to the top of the hill. Blah! We're in the inner area of the storm, and sometimes people do camp out here. Uh, other times, it's the other way around. They'll be coming through because the storm is closing. Maybe I should go to this lock box here, see if I can get anything better than what I got. Have some time. Oh, somebody's there. Come on, bro. Dang. Oh, well. Hey, I got enough XP out of that match. I'm okay. Look at 62,000K, dude. Uh, dudes and dudettes. Excuse me. But yeah, um... That's not too bad. My accuracy is crap. Uh, damage. Headshots. I'm usually good about headshots, but again, I know I'm probably calling out on the controller, but the controller does kind of suck. Um, I think one of these episodes, I'll probably jump to the Xbox and see if it plays a little bit better. Again, I haven't had any problems with Xbox controllers. Uh, it kind of freaks me out on how much how much money you can put into a controller and uh, it, it turns into total crap and uh, for $60 you shouldn't have to have a, a controller crap out on you uh, the same thing goes for the switch I mean I'll be playing on the switch and one of the triggers will get stuck or something and this is this is not an after party or third party uh, controller this is a controller that's from Nintendo you know I do have uh, an aftermarket um, controller for the switch and it is wonky as well um, but it was like one of those non-brand $20 controllers you know I kind of have uh, f familiarities of the Xbox controller but uh, let's see how this next match goes Remember, I'm not looking to get number one at the moment. Uh, I will focus on that a little bit later. It's just a matter of getting all the XP I can get uh, through this match or through the matches that I make. Oh, loading times kill you. But yeah, let's see what else we got. I am going to resume other videos um, that I've been doing in the past. I think, I think as far as the Wolverine, um, Wolverine's Revenge, I'm going to start releasing those videos in acts because they were a little bit easier for me to kind of consolidate versus having like 15, 20 minute videos. They end up turning into like hour, an hour. An hour and some change. Um, but I figure for me, it'll be easier for me to organize, especially putting on a playlist. 
and then uh, there's only a couple acts in there to begin with so it's not really too much I'm gonna look at what we've got left over we got the bike we got to outlast we have to outlast another 25 and two other rounds to get to 25k um, okay let's see if we can then it's not over here somewhere I'm looking for a samurai sword uh, because we got to do some melee damage one of these places out here. Uh, I think this person is going to get to it before I do, though. And is there a spot that has a chest, though? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go faster, go faster. Well, there's a bike out there. Okay. Well, if we need to kill this person, we'll have something. Alright, switching over. I hear them. Be very quiet about it, though. Dude! Ow! That was brutal! <laughs> I panicked! <laughs> oh, that was horrible. Cool. Cool skin, though. Like a bunny. I, I wish I could turn it around to see the face. Got a little eight ball backpack. Oh. That's what I was going for. I was going for the sword. They got it before I did. And that's why some of these these matches will be really quick. I'll just die. Like I'll be the first one to die or something. It gets a little bit worse when you start getting into the like, the the city because of all the rails. Everybody, it, it's I think it's the highest point in the map that you can land real quick. You can land on one of the buildings. Uh, zip down, uh, right one of the zip lines all the way down to the first floor, and then um, you can get other, uh, you know, weapons and stuff like that because it's scattered all over the map. Uh, there's some specific bosses that you can open up vaults, and those vaults will have, uh, you know, exotic guns and stuff like that. Um, I've only done that once, and I've I think I cheap shot it. Somebody else was attacking the boss, and I'd I'd come in and I help shoot the boss, and then I shoot that person, and then I take the key card and open the vault. Um, not too happy about it because it, it was one of those things where it's like, hey, that person was doing the work for me. Uh, but it does take at least uh, a couple of people or a lot of uh, ammo to take down the bosses because you have the boss, and then sometimes you'll have a uh, henchman behind them. Well, let's try to... Well, you know what? I forget it. Let's just see if we can try to get another freaking sword. Um, usually there's some bikes everywhere here. And just in case... Um, you might be wondering, how do I know this map? I've been playing on it for about... A month and a half. And... Uh, there are specific weapons I know are in certain places. And the other trick, too, about landing is if you can get one of these trees, uh, you can slowly fall to the floor. So here's a tip. <laughs> uh, Alright. I don't care. I get the gun. That's uh, another same with the gun. Uh, I'll take the XP. There is a chest here somewhere. But yeah, um, I know where certain things are. 
Uh, you can beat a chest open if you choose to do so. I find that if you're barely starting out in the level, um, like if when you land, it's probably not the best thing to do because people will come and hunt you down. And uh, sometimes it's going to be a little bit hectic because, you know, you didn't get your shields like, like I didn't. Um, I got to head over to the hot springs to get that sword. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to grab all the weapons I can. Uh, I'm going to replace that with that. Got these gold bars. And every once in a while, you'll see me, like, spend gold bars. Uh, I don't go into those particular villages because, um, it does have the Attack on Titans, um, weapons. But, uh, sometimes they're not very useful. I mean, I'm pretty sure I, I could probably melee somebody to death with the, the weapons. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit hard for me to target. Do we have, a? Uh do we have a chest in here? No. Somebody's nearby. Sounds like they're, they're trying to pistol somebody. That might actually come in handy in just a moment. Okay. So let's see if we can run. Target these guys. I probably shouldn't be. Um... Hey, 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 hey. I'm trying to kill somebody here. No ammo. All right, we're gonna... Slightly, if they, they slide down, yes, 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 yes! Thank you! Damn. I was hoping I, I didn't grab the shotgun in time. <sighs> but it looked like everybody was just going, hey, Pickle Rick. See what I would have known about uh, the Rick and Morty crossover. I would have been like totally on top of that. I would have been like, yep, I'll get those skins. See, everybody's like clumped together. I didn't really achieve much in this round. Because that's why I say you win some, you lose some type of situation. I probably should have went away from the fight, but eh, it is what it is, right? The heck was that? That is funny to have Pickle Rick on, the, on your backpack. But yeah, I mean, it, it gives me access to like see other people's skins. I know that the the store refreshes every 24 hours, so it gives me a little bit of access of of seeing what is available to me. Uh, I was I was this close to to getting the RoboCop skin, um, but by the time I actually thought about it and and was about to get it, um, it was already over twenty four hours and it disappeared. And I was like, great! I was about to jump on the monthly, um, the monthly crew thing. I think they call it the crew pass or something like that, and. Um, I was just gonna get on onto that crew pass because they actually give me a 950 V bucks credit because I bought the battle pass, and so that would have be, made it about 1950 I would have in V bucks, and then I would be able to get the skin. Now, if I was gonna continue with the battle pass or the the crew pass, uh, that's a whole different story. I, I was just gonna try to see if I can get the one, and then see here's Robocop. That's badass. But, uh, 
by the time I, fig I I actually thought about it and everything, um, it was already too late. I was like, great, I waited too long. Um, but yeah, I saw the Super Mario Brothers uh, movie uh, this weekend. That was pretty cool. Um, I saw a lot of hitting stuff in there. Like, at just the beginning of the movie, it, a lot of references of, of Nintendo. Of course, it's a Nintendo movie. Um, but I saw a bunch of stuff that wasn't really related to Mario or... Um, it was just more Nintendo than anything. So, um, with that being said, I really did like the movie, though. Uh, I get the reference to Peaches now, as far as the song goes. And, uh, that's pretty funny. It's a, a funny song once you see it and you're like, oh, that's what, that's what everybody's talking about. For me, it was, a. Uh, I didn't really know what everybody was talking about. Oh, I don't need that. And then finally when I when I saw it for myself. Leave me alone. I'm gonna shield up first. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. These guys are going at it. Here we go. All right, we're going. Where are you going? Nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. I know I'm getting cocky, guys. I'll take that, though. And then I'll replace that. But anywho. Yeah, I finally got the references to the, the, the Peaches song. That, that, was, that was nuts. And if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. It's all... It's all cool. And yes, there's gonna be kids there. Um, but overall, it was definitely a good movie, and I can definitely see that it could be something that will turn into a lot of movies in the future. I will take this. I don't think I need it. And I'll take that, just in case. Um, like, I really do hope, uh, they do make more movies. Uh, because I would definitely like to see a Zelda movie. I, I would definitely like to see that. Um. At least how they would incorporate that into a movie. I think it would be awesome to see. I need a DMR. not a DMR, but I can read that one for that. I know I should be using that, but it's kind of a one shot. And that's why I like with the DMR. DMR, I can, I can, I see that person in the distance, actually. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? There you are. See, they're one-shotting me, but it's a one-shot thing. So they have to, like, get me dead on. And now they're stuck reloading. Like that. And that's how you die. Not saying that I'm an expert. Remember, I'm not an expert. Far from it. 
what I'm saying is <clears throat> instead of having the sniper rifle that yes is a one shot kill they would have to really be dead on like headshot uh no mistake and that's kind of hard to do uh the same thing with those particular weapons i just dropped uh if i were to have those particular weapons a, p a particular person needs to stand still for a moment for me to take that shot and um let's just say if, if somebody has like either the gun that I have or if they have um, an automatic rifle they're gonna kill me before I can even do anything so I stick to a couple of guns if it's close range I'll, I'll definitely use a shotgun um, but even I'm not an expert at the shotgun shotgun you have to be dead on and uh, <laughs> especially with the controller that I'm, I'm playing with I'm not the very best. I'm gonna try to see if I can get those points. I know it would probably take me a couple tries to get the points here. There we go. Again, I'm not an expert. See, this is the boss I'm talking about. You gotta kick, kill him to get a, a volt key. I gotta admit, if somebody can get a kill while doing that type of uh, a stunt, I, I think somebody does have enough time. Donkey! It's a pinata. It's a bonata. Oh! I'm just trying to get those points. Finally, I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, 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 snap. That was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. That that was pretty safe. I'm running out of, of gas, so I'm gonna dump that. Alright, where's this person that was shooting at me? Because they were shooting at me. Ugh. I almost thought that tree was somebody. I know I didn't see anything. I mean, I didn't. I didn't imagine anything. If somebody was shooting at me while I was passing by. You know, one of the uh, one of the things I think to get this character. I don't know, maybe it was a, a, a season thing, like a season um, quest where I had to drive so many miles with a car. And uh, it was just a butthole and a half. Because you got people shooting at you, um, you could get flat tires. It's just a pain in the butt when you're trying to achieve something and somebody's like, yeah, no, you can't. There's somebody up in front of us. You see that? Right there. Nope. Died. See, that's why I, I missed the DMR. I have to find a DMR because it'll make my shots a little bit clearer. So I got the points for that. What else do I have? 
I just have to outlast 25, uh, reach 25 players remaining in the match. Um, milestones, outlasting players, of course, and then ammo boxes. So now you know why I look at all those ammo boxes and search those chests, because every count counts. Well, every number counts, so there we go. And then it looks like if I were to get another couple headshots on opponents, uh, I'll be able to do that. There's an easy thousand right there. Uh, but for the season, it looks like we have completed the week's uh, um, quest. And uh, I can't remember where I started from, at least what level. I think it was 131 or something. But look at me, look at me now. It's, it's like I'm 138. And I'm about 27k away from 139. Let's uh, go ahead and go into another match. Hopefully we can go through uh, another round here. Maybe they're looking at a map too. I don't know. Or did I lose connection? <laughs> That doesn't sound like it, because it's still... Yeah, I'm thinking they're looking at maps or quests. <sighs> at least now I know why some people are just in the middle of nowhere. Sometimes I'll, I'll get some kills, and they're just... They're standing still. They could be going to the restroom, who knows. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Grabbing something to eat, or they're looking at a map. To the right! To the left! To the left now! Right there! Oh, no wonder the person killed me. That must be a better DMR. Now I want that gun. Uh. But yeah, I, I like those particular guns because then I, I can be away from somebody instead of being close range. Um, I don't think I've ever one shot killed anybody. There's been some instances where I get lucky headshots. And um, those are cool to see. Uh, most of those, though, and I'm not too sure if it has to do with me playing on the Switch. Um, there's no assisting on the Switch. Which is um, quite interesting. Let me let me see if I can enable this uh, particular setting here. progress where is it there's a particular thing that I'm looking for targeting mark danger targeting auto weapons preferred item slot building no don't save okay I'm gonna jump there's a particular setting I'm looking for um, on the switch and also on mobile you can see this like ring around you and it'll give you the direction of where the shots are firing or it will also tell you where people are walking uh it'll indicate it by a specific footstep so that's what i was looking for um it makes it a little bit easier since i'm not using the headset Let's see if we can land out here grab the handgun at least we have something And, um, whoops. Um, but it, it makes it a little bit easier since I'm not wearing a headset. I know for people who actually wear headsets, um, it is, it is very cool to have a headset. Don't get me wrong. I, I definitely love headsets. It makes it a little bit more realistic. I can survive a little bit longer. Cool. I have my gun. Um. With all that being said, it is cool to have. It's just a pain in the butt to, to put in a capture card. Um, I have the required things in order to do it by capture card. Um, it does tend to run my battery low quicker on my remote. And yes, I do have extra remotes. That's not the point. Having to go back and forth with remotes and then toggling a wire um, 
gets, gets to be a little bit of a, an issue sometimes because it's like, oh, I got to change the remotes. Oh, I got to worry about this wire. The wire that I paid, you know, 30 bucks for. Um, it becomes an issue because it's like, oh, now I it now I have to worry about a freaking cable that I'm going to have to replace every once in a while. And for you to not know, I'm spending bars, uh, gold bars, in order for me to have better weapons instead of me having to hunt for weapons. It's okay. It runs out. Yep. Alright, here we go. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> I'm gonna get you, dude. That's what you get for freaking trying to kill me. Now, where is the dude? This dude. Got him. Now, there was a keg over here somewhere. Hopefully, I can get a keg and then recharge. I'll take the key. Crap. Somebody picked up the keg. But anyways, what was I talking about? I can't remember. I'm getting old. <laughs> uh, this is going to be my new excuse. I'm getting old. I just hate it when people are like, Don't go after me. You were shooting at me. I already have one of those. We're good. I mean, that's also the point of the game. I'm not going to sit there and cry that somebody killed me because they're more skilled. If they're skilled, that they're skilled. More power to them. I'm, I'm in it for the XP, guys. I know there's a whole saying, they're in it to win it type of situation. Ah. See, like in that situation. I was not expecting that person to be there. And that was a good call. If I had been a little bit further away, then it would have been a totally different thing, and then, uh, you know, I, uh, I would have gotten the kill. Again, it's one of those things where I rush into things, rush into places like that, and I, I could be sitting down being careful. There are some times when I'm playing on the Switch that I'll do that. I'll sit there and I'll, I'll have my, uh, what do you call it, moments where I get into, like, I'm gonna go for more wins versus more uh, XP than anything. And, and it really just matters on, well, it doesn't really matter. You, there's no right way to play Fortnite. You can do the building, you can do the no building, you can do creative mode all you want. You get XP everywhere. So it's not like it's, it's uh, restricted on just, you know, doing the PVP. Um, that's what I like about this because if I do PUBG or anything like that, uh, I think it's restricted. I don't think you can build. I'm not downing that because you have, uh, what is that? Call of Duty. Call of Duty has the same thing where you, you know, you land, you get a backpack, you get weapons and stuff like that. It is cool. Uh, I like the leveling out process. They all have their, their good stuff and their bad stuff. I think the only one, I forgot which one I was playing, where you get automatically teamed up with people, and it's a trio. As you can see, I like playing solos. Um, only for the fact that if I'm going to play a trio or a duo, I have to be able to talk to that person. If I'm not able to talk to that person, I think it was Valorant. Valorant? or something else but they put you in a game and you're in a trio and you have to be first place in order to open up the rest of the game uh that makes it a little bit tough for me because <clears throat> if i have two teammates that have no mic and they're just willy-nilly going somewhere else or they're bots <laughs> um that doesn't help me too much 
and uh, it I think I spent like over a couple of hours just trying to become first place in a trio every time that I was in a trio uh, they did not work with each other some person would go somewhere else it was just a big mess and then it's like well I'm trying to open up the rest of the game come on like, work with me here you know and it turned into one of those things where it's just like I didn't have a, a what do you call it it's not a need but it was just like it turned me off on the whole situation of well these guys aren't working with me so how am I supposed to do anything or at least open up the rest of the game and uh, it was just a big turnoff so uh, at least on this one I can solo everything however I want to and it's not locked down to a specific mode so at least I'll be able to play the game get in and yes yes you'll be murdered if you're you're, you're you know you're, you're playing the game for the first time I'm not gonna tell you that you're gonna rocket this game there's gonna be instances of this game that's gonna be hard because people are gonna totally you know plummet you with bullets and try to get you out because that's part of the game this is this is one of the modes of the game and that's part of the game that's that's just the bottom line you know this is full-on uh, player versus player and uh, that it's never pretty <laughs> And yeah, you will get you will get demolished in some areas and um but the the key to all this though, and I will say this, the key to all this, you're gonna die in this game no matter what, right? You're new, you're gonna die, right? Have that mentality. Have fun. Have a little fun. Yes, people are gonna be a little bit better than you, but if you have fun with it. Then you'll be okay. And if not, then there's the next game, you know? You know, you, you can always be a better person in the next game. Uh, you're not going to be locked down to uh, said... Said uh, games. Uh, and there's there's chances that you may not even see this, this person that's going to kill you and that type of stuff, you know? Like that, you know, it's it's one of those things where it's just like you just so happen to be here I am pretty sure somebody's gonna come towards me in a little bit um, Because they heard gunshots I'm gonna change to this thing here See if it can lock on. Will it lock on from this far? If not... Come on. Show me your party face. I know somebody else is over here on this corner. Uh, but again, you know... I'm not gonna say that you're always gonna have a knack for it. I definitely don't have a knack for it. I I know how to play because I played shooter games in the past. Uh, but then again, when I played in the past, now I'm gonna say this: when I played it in the past, I played over the keyboard and mouse. You know, um, to play it with a controller is a pain in the butt. Um, and it, it really is a pain butt <laughs> because hold on where are you it went forward I think I can't really tell anymore. This is where that headset comes in handy. Uh, 
Um, I mean, I can spend some gold bars, but I feel like the last couple gold bars have been messed up. The last uh, match that I spent gold bars on. What's cr what creeps me out the most is how realistic the, the, the footprints can get. And sometimes I'll think that my own footprints is somebody else and I'll go looking around like, hey, who's that? Wait, there we go. But I mean, you know, you gotta know that you're gonna be in this game and then, you know, play it. There's always gonna be a, a good part of it and a bad part of it. I mean, you're gonna have some people that are, are gonna be better at something, you know? And if you're good at it, more power to you, dude. Or do that. You know, um,. I guess this this is more of a pep talk to people who aren't good at specific games. Um, again, you you won't know until you try type of situation. And I think that's what happened to me on this particular game. Uh, I didn't try. <clears throat> and then I all, all of a sudden, somebody had told me, hey, you should try this out. Okay, I'll give it a try. You know, I got no problem with it. Uh, I'll usually try a game, and if it doesn't phase me, then I'm just like, eh. You know? Um. If it doesn't phase me, or I don't like the gameplay, then I can go ahead and do something else. You know? There's many other games that are out there, and you don't have to be locked into said games. Oh, I got lucky there. I got kind of lucky. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That is awesome. Actually, oh my god, that was. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, was it Boba Fett? Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. That was cool though. That that that's. That was an awesome elimination there. All right, guys. Uh, my name is Victor, a.k.a. Multi-Second. This is going to be a good episode for y'all. Uh, y'all have a nice day.